Hey, South County Elementary PE, for the next week or two, you will be doing the fitness gram tests at home. Those tests are the pacer, which tests for your cardiorespiratory endurance, the sit-ups, which mainly test for your muscular endurance, the push-ups, which test for your muscular strength and a little bit of muscular endurance, the sit and reach, which tests for your flexibility, and I'm adding the broad jump, which tests for your The pacer test which tests for cardiorespiratory endurance. This is how to do it at home. It's usually 20 meters or 15 meters. So that's tough to, uh, to measure at home. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a ruler, which is 12 inches. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure my foot, which is roughly the same size. My shoe is roughly the same size as that ruler. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my feet. Here's gonna be my starting line. And I'm gonna put my feet together 60 times and that will be my other line so it's going to look like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Nine, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So roughly right here would be my other line. Remember with the pacer test, and I'll show you a little demonstration. When you hear the beep, that's when you run, and then you cross the other line, and you don't run again until you hear that next beep. When you can't run anymore, or you're not making it on time for the beep, then you're done stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. One. The sit-up test tests for muscular endurance. You can either have someone hold your feet or you can put your toes underneath your couch just like this. You're going to lay back, you're going to cross your arms. This is not a sit-up. This is too far. What you're going to want to do is when you have your arms crossed, your elbows are out a little bit, and they're going to touch your upper, upper leg and that's as far as you need to go. Right here. Boom. That's a good sit-up. Now if I lay down and then start back up, that doesn't count. You have to do them consecutively. They have to be in a row. The push-up test. This tests for muscular strength, a little bit of muscular endurance. Two ways you can do them. You can do them from your feet, just like this, or you can do them from your knees. Now, two things that I often see with the push-up test. This is not a push-up. My back is not straight. You have to have your back straight. Also, this is not a push-up. I'm not going all the way down. That's not a push-up. This is what a good push-up looks like. My hands are about shoulder width apart. My elbows are bending. I'm touching the ground or the floor and coming right back up all the way. This is not a push-up. This is not a push-up. From your knees, this is what a good push-up would look like. This 
is not a push-up and this is not a push-up. Also, when you do your push-ups, don't rest on the ground or the floor. Come right back up. Just touch your body to the floor, come right back up. The sit and reach test, you're gonna need a ruler. I'm gonna tape this ruler right here. The one is facing me, the 12 is here. The nine is right at the edge of the couch, so right about there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one leg straight out and the other leg bent. I'm not gonna raise this knee up. It's gonna stay straight. Put my two hands together, go out as far as I can. That was about 10 or 11 inches. Okay, then I'm gonna switch feet. My right leg is straight, my left knee is bent. This one's gonna stay straight, not bend. My hands are together, and go out as far as I can. Rod jump tests for power, which is a quick application of force. I'm gonna use a tape measure. If you don't have a tape measure at home, you could just mark it off with your feet how far you've jumped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a two foot takeoff. I'm at the other end of the measuring tape. I'm using a two foot takeoff. So I bend my knees, I swing my arms, and I get a good jump, it looks like this. Now I'm gonna measure that to see how far I jump and take a couple other turns. 